What's going on everybody, Average Arcader here, and today I'm going to be giving you guys a little sneak peek look at Arcfall Mech Battles. This is the latest game franchise that's being released from Cyclone Studios. These are the awesome people who made Mutant Survival, if you guys remember that. It's a very nice survival game that I played a little while ago. One of the first one, big ones I covered on the channel. I had such a good time with that, and I was able to even have them on for interviews and whatnot. It's an amazing game, and if you haven't checked it out, I would suggest you go do it. But, getting back to Mech Battles, this is a full-fledged standalone game. It only uses Minecraft as a launch platform. That means everything here has been built from the ground up and it is amazing today i'm going to be taking you guys through and showing you a little bit of the mechs how they look and show you what a mission looks like i'll go into more detail in later videos uh the game launches on april 19th so until then each day i'm going to try to give you guys little sneak peeks at different things and different features until it launches where we do a bunch of big gameplays reviews and if I can, some interviews with some of the team. All right, guys, let's go ahead and show off some of these mechs. The mechs are beautiful. Each have a unique look, way they move, and a special ability to them. We'll go more into that in another later video when I go over the weapons, but just know they all handle differently, feel differently, uh, but are all feeling good. This is a game built around not just solo player, but multiplayer. In fact, since I've had a chance to actually play it, it's definitely better with multiplayer. It's way more fun, but don't get me wrong, you can definitely have a really good time playing this solo too. They haven't forgot about anybody. It's built around everything. You're all going to have fun. Okay, let's take a look at our mission. Now, before we do that, we have to first choose which mech we want. Then we have to select the loadout. There are five different weapons. Again, I'll go over detail about all of them later in another video, but I tend to lean towards the laser and the cannon. After we choose which weapons we want to use, we then go back into the command center, choose our mission that we want to try to do, then hit deploy. Every mission has unique objectives. You're not going to be doing the same thing over and over again. And if you replay the mission, the objective locations change. So even if you are replaying the mission, it still feels fresher because you're not in the same location on the map. The gameplay is fun and addictive, but it also supports many different play styles. Now, if you play like me and you like to kind of sit in the back and do precise damage, there's a loadout for that. Depending on the mech and the weapons that you choose with it, you can do that. But say you're somebody that likes to get up a little closer and do massive damage runs, there's a mech and a loadout for that as well. They've pretty much accommodated for all the different ways that you can play this game. There's a way or a loadout that you can do. So choose which loadout works best for you and have fun. Stay focused, pilot. Keep at it. Thank you. 
Okay guys, that's all I'm going to show you for today, but don't worry, I have much more to show you guys, so make sure you stay tuned by leaving a like, sharing, subscribing, and hitting that notification button. We have so much more to go over. Tomorrow I plan on taking a look at the individual weapons and the unique abilities of the mechs, so if you're interested in that, make sure to stay tuned. Also, remember, Arc Fall Mech Battles comes out on April 19th, so keep an eye on the marketplace if you do not want to miss it. I'd also like to thank the awesome people over at Cyclone Studios for allowing me to play this game early so that I can show it to you guys. Alright, Average Arcader out.